Hello, everybody. So today we are going to be looking at the law of conservation of mass. So in your Edmodo, you need to find the post that says 914, law of conservation of mass. Here's the link for the reading. Here are your practice questions. Here is the email to turn them into me. So the law of conservation of mass, what that explains is that you end up with the same mass as you started with. So when you have a chemical reaction, the total mass of the products has to be equal to the total mass of the reactants. Now, sometimes you might have a reaction and you take the mass before and you take the mass after and it's not the same mass. Now, there, there's experimental error that can explain that. But sometimes um, one of the products is a gas, so it escapes into the air rather than staying with the rest of solution or substance or whatever you're working with. So an example of this. So we have silver nitrate, we have sodium chloride. Okay, those two compounds can dissolve in water and they react with each other to form silver chloride and sodium nitrate. Okay, the silver chloride is not soluble, so it is going to form a solid. So we can filter out this solid, and then we can evaporate the water to get the sodium nitrate that dissolved. So let's say we react 58.5 grams of sodium chloride with 169.9 grams of silver nitrate. So we're going to start with 228.4 grams of materials. So after the reaction happens and we separate the materials, we're going to find that we have 143.4 grams of silver chloride and 85 grams of sodium nitrate. If you add those together, you realize that you end up with 228.4 grams of material. So this is the law of conservation of mass. The mass you start with is the mass you end with in a chemical reaction. So make sure you finish your questions and turn them into me.